Hello viewers, today we're in Blackpool, now, believe it or not, it's early morning, Blackpool is busier than Tenerife at the moment, it was absolutely mobbed yesterday, raining, windy today, it's not too busy, but yesterday there was just queues to get in everywhere, really really busy, Blackpool fans you'll recognise that's the North Pier, the Bloom Gin and Prosecco Bar. The distance there, you'll see the Metropole Hotel. Give me a comment if you stayed in there. It's a good location, isn't it? Take a wee walk down maybe to the Central Pier. The Yates and Shenanigans across the road. Got a few good bars around the side there as well. Soul Suites just around the corner. So it's about 17 degrees today. Yeah, not Tenerife. We've got the wedding chapel here. I think they're trying to make Blackpool look like a Vegas. I don't think it's quite the same to be honest with you, but it's good to make an effort. The Vegas Diner over there. I actually went in there yesterday, we sat for five minutes, really busy. Nobody came to serve, so we had to leave. Places are really busy here. This is early morning, so it's not busy. As I said, the weather's not great. Give me a comment below. Have you been to Blackpool many times in your childhood? Maybe it's a wee trip down memory lane for you. There's a tourist information office. The tram line right in front of us. Trams run up and down all day long and you can get unlimited tickets. You get day passes, three days, a week, maybe more. You've got a three day pass, I think it was about £11.50. And you just scan the QR code on the app. And when you go on the tram you just show it every time, no problem. Central Pier in the distance. That tram's going to Fleetwood. Look at the famous Blackpool Tower, which is really busy, you have to book that. If you turn up, it'll basically be fully booked in the day. There's always big queues outside as well, which is quite surprising because it's fully booked, so I'm wondering why there's always big queues out it. Famous North Pier Theatre, over there in the distance. Famous acts like Bruce Forsyth. Many others have played there. Paul Daniels, Russ Abbott, that take you back. They used to come to Blackpool years ago, they were the big acts, remember? You barely get a ticket for them. The sea's pretty rough today. So the tide's in just now, that's the only thing about Blackpool. The tide quite often can, can be in, so it's not like, let's say you're in Tenerife or Benidorm. You just pop down to the beach any time in the morning. You can lie there all day. It's different with Blackpool, even if the weather's really good. If the tide's in, you need to wait in it. It could be two or three in the afternoon. Here we've got the comedy carpet. If you've not been to Blackpool for many years, you've probably not seen this. A lot of history here. 
some wee stories that you can read if you've got the time. They've got some famous old jokes. That's a comedy carpet. We've also got the Blackpool Dungeons next to the tower. We've got quite a few of them in different places. We've got them in Edinburgh as well. I've heard they're quite good. And not too far from here, we've got the famous Coral Island. Maybe when you're young, you'd have a wee game of bingo in there. Quite a lot of stuff in there. Traffic's pretty busy. Got weather spoons there, there always seems to be a queue to go in there. The Golden Mile amusements as well, they're really popular. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Kevin, I do mostly walks in different places. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely free. Just hit the wee button below the video, it says subscribe. And hit the wee bell next to it, that says all notifications. Anytime I put a video on YouTube, you get a wee message. How exciting is that? Here we've got the Coral Island and the Golden Mile across the road. I've done another video walking through the Coral Island. I'll upload that soon. Blackpool Rock Shops. Remember when you were younger you used to always go to Blackpool, you could never come back without Blackpool Rock for somebody. As the day goes on, you'll find that the promenade will get a lot busier, especially if the rain goes away. Coral Island is always busy inside, it doesn't matter what the weather's like, obviously inside there. The Bonnie Street Market at the back there. Some bargains in there. Leave me a comment if you've been in there. Been there for years, hasn't it? The Sea Life Centre there, it's popular for families. You've got Fun Man next to it. Check out the wee city and sweet logos up there. Maybe not the big wheel on the pier. Not for me that, too high. <laughs> A lot of fish and chip shops along the 
promenade, needless to say, you're in Blackpool, so everywhere sells fish and chips. Parts of Hamilton bus just went by there. That's basically a coach tour from Scotland, so it's good to see. There's some life coming back. Starting to get busy again. Obviously in England soon all restrictions are going to be lifted. It's going to be absolutely mobbed here. To be honest with you, walking about yesterday and last night, you wouldn't know there's that many restrictions here anyway. It's a lot different from up in Scotland. Up in Scotland, if you walk about anywhere in a pub without a mask, somebody will definitely come over and pull you up. Whereas here, I was in quite a few places, like watching the football and having a meal, etc. There's a lot of people kicking about without masks and nobody saying a word. I don't know whether it's because the restrictions are lifting next week, people are just a wee bit relaxed, thinking, well, what's the difference? Let's hope we can all stay safe. Strictly poster. Any Strictly fans, you probably your favourite episodes when they go to the ballroom. A bit of nostalgia. Ballroom's a really nice place to visit actually. Even if you don't really know any dancing, it's not a nice place. Historic building. With the Blackpool Tower tickets, I think you've got your choice. You can go to the circus, you go to the ballroom, or you go up to the top of the tower. Probably packages that, that combine all three and check it out on the website. The ice cream shop over there. Another thing you need to do if you're in Blackpool, get the ice cream. Now, here is the best bar in Blackpool, in my opinion. Not having been here for many, many years, I was in here yesterday. They had some live music on, two guys singing, absolutely fantastic. The sun was out, it was 20 degrees, I sit and look out to see. It was really good. Weather makes a big difference, eh? Big, big difference if the weather's good. There's three gin and Prosecco bar. I'm not going to get in because I'm playing music just now and that's going to cause issues with the video. Basically, they've got a wee, they've got a wee terrace there. You can sit out. A wee gin, a prosecco, a beer. Got live music on most afternoons. Let me know if you've been to the terrace bar before. Check out these wee kids. Because they're having a wee sports day on the beach. Hope they're enjoying themselves. Now the tide's actually not in that much just now, so that's quite good. You can actually get down the beach, eh? Yesterday it wasn't... The, the tide was in until about 2 or 3 o'clock. Couldn't really go down the beach till then. So it can vary day to day. So it's a bit different from going abroad. There's a tower in the distance opposite again. So I hope you've enjoyed the wee walk. Maybe took a wee trip down memory lane. Just showing you at one of the UK Resorts are like just now. Let me know, maybe you're coming here in the summer. Some shows starting up again, some live shows. There's plenty of music bars as well. They've also got a comedy club, in case you didn't know that. They do three or four different acts on a Saturday night on the one show. It was sold out last night, the night before. So again, book tickets in advance for that one if you like comedy clubs. Okay, so that's us at the Central Pier. So I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. See you in the next one.